Scientists here are trying to strengthen the fight against a cancer that kills almost everyone who gets it, pancreatic cancer. Over the last 40 years, long-term survival rates have hardly improved at all. This leading researcher says too often patients are diagnosed when it's already too late. The diagnosis is tricky because the place where the pancreas sits, very deep in our abdomen, symptoms can be hidden for a long period of time. Um, they can be very, very unspecific as we all experience probably indigestion, abdominal tweaks, pains. The majority of patients with pancreatic cancer die within a year. Just 3% live for at least five years. That's only a slight improvement from the 1970s, when only 2% of patients survived that long. Every year, around 8,800 people are diagnosed and around 8,300 die from it. He had such a zest for life. He wanted to fight. He wanted to beat it. Yasmin's dad discovered he had pancreatic cancer when he was 66. He lost his battle 18 months later. It was the most horrible feeling in the world, the anxiety, um, trying to stay brave for someone because I knew being upset would upset my dad a million times more than he was upset for himself, that his, you know, his heart would be breaking. Um, it was an emotional roller coaster. It's a really hard, hard thing to go through. And you hope um, now that others don't have yeah, to? Yeah, if I could save anybody that, I just, yeah, it's heartbreaking. Campaigners say research is lagging behind other cancers. Pancreatic cancer is almost a, a Cinderella cancer. It has had less attention. It's had less research put into it over the years. So what needs to happen? We think that the key to solving the problem of pancreatic cancer is more investment. We're going to be doubling our investment into this disease over the coming years. Yasmin hopes that will eventually improve diagnosis and treatment so other families face more positive futures. Rebecca Barry, 5 News.